Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our the final discussion of the term on, on Unit 5. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about particularly the first one. There are some students who, who kind of miss what that means because it's kind of very unusual, although I think you're seeing more of that kind of a heating process. Now, um, particularly in the area of, of, of cooking, of, of in uh, uh, yeah, cooking food or processing by heat some certain organic material. The difference here is that in, in OMIC, also called Joule, J-O-U-L-E, like energy, energy heating, what you're, you're, you're doing is you're making the, the product being processed actually part of the circuit. That's the best way, I think, to say it. And when you, when you do that, it has, in many cases, that has some uh, advantages to how that's processed and how it works, how evenly it, work, it works out, which is a little unusual. You don't see about you see it very often, but I don't want you to get get mistaken that that's just some other just cooking. It's not the actual material being processed is uh, part of the circuit. You could say. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, you have what are applications of superconductivity. In superconductivity, you, you know as we'll discuss this week. One of the things that uh, is true is that current will pass through a, a circuit with no resistance. What that means is, this you'll discover in your research, that when the circuit is, con is, is closed, there is no energy loss due to heating, due to resistive heating of the circuit. That has, from different things, that has good applications. So I'll let you all do some research on that. Uh, the third one, is on different applications of different portions of the basically the electromagnetic spectrum. We were thinking about maybe just doing one on radio waves or microwaves or whatever, but that was too narrow. So we thought we'd give students a chance to kind of do a little investigation, decide which area of uh, the uh, EM spectrum they thought was most interesting and, the, and to do a little research on what are applications of that. Uh, so if you do if you do that one, uh, make sure you add a little reference there about uh, how the uh, application is utilized and why and why that particular region of the spectrum is so useful. Finally, uh, we, go, we go back to another one just on applications of uh, magnetism in general. Why is that useful, or or what aspects of that are useful? And why is it why is it used for? Well, different things. I'm not, I'm not giving anything else away, but uh, I think you'll find that to be a very important and, and useful topic for discussion as well. It's hard to tell which one of these is most applicable to your work, but I hope you find them all interesting. Have a really good day. Hope I see you Monday.